Council members who would like to make announcements, please indicate so by pressing your request to speak button and I will recognize you in order. Council member Jeff Syracuse. Thank you, member. Thank you very much, uh, Council member Allen. Um, this Saturday, October 5th, uh, will be a special annual fundraiser for the Donaldson Gateway Project at uh, JBI Secret Gardens on Donaldson Pike. Uh, there's gonna be food from 312 Pizza, uh, beer from various artists brewing company, and uh, uh, local art. And this is a great opportunity to support uh, beautification uh, organization that's been called the poster child for beautification organizations across Tennessee uh, from, from TDOT. So this Saturday, uh, October 5th at 6 p.m. is a Donaldson Gateway Project fundraiser at JBI Secret Gardens, Donaldson Pike. Hope to see you. Thanks so much. Thank you. Councilmember Bircher. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I want to announce to uh, Southeast and District 28 that tomorrow is National Coffee with a Cop Day uh, with the South Precinct. Um, that is tomorrow from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. at 331 Harden Place. Would love to welcome everyone to come over and grab uh, a cup of coffee with a cop over in District 28. Also want to let uh, the community know that on October 12th, uh, save the date. That is our district community cleanup and also our free shredded event um, that we've been doing. This will be uh, since I've been in office. Um, the address is still the same at 936 Richards Road. That is the Food Line parking lot. And as always, um, refreshments uh, will be served to the volunteers. And as always, we will have the, the free shredded truck uh, available also. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Thank you. Councilmember O'Connell. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I just wanted to bring, uh, well, first, actually, I wanted to thank Councilmember Syracuse for recognizing a couple of great District 19 assets in, in uh, his district, so I think that's wonderful. Uh, sharing the love across districts is always a wonderful thing. Um, I also wanted to bring people's attention to a couple of my favorite district, f district events that are also big citywide events. This is the 40th annual Nashville Oktoberfest. Uh, in Germantown. Um, it has been a Nashville tradition since 1980. Um, you can go to the NashvilleOctoberfest.com for days and times, but it's going to run from October 10th through 13th in historic Germantown. I also wanted to bring people's attention to the 31st annual Southern Festival of Books, running basically the same dates, October 11th through 13th. It's a great time uh, to spend time in Nashville's urban core in one of our oldest neighborhoods. Uh, and then uh, Come back to me because I've got to get a couple details on one other event that's important, but I wanted to bring everybody's attention to the fact folks saw we've got uh, purple ribbons here. The Domestic Violence Division of Metro Nashville Police is just outside the chamber, and October is Domestic Violence uh, Awareness Month, and I want to come back uh, in just a minute and tell people about Meet Us at the Bridge, which I'll do in, in a few seconds. Certainly. We'll be back to you. Council Member Stiles. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I just want to make an announcement about my first community meeting, which will be this Tuesday, October 8th at 6 p.m. Ben Freeland is going to be one of my guests, and he's going to be discussing the future of Hickory Hollow Mall and is inquiring for community feedback. So I would love if any of you could come, anyone from your districts to come, because he wants to get complete community feedback, not just Southeast, but everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Councilmember Glover. Thank you, Council Lady. Uh, just very quickly, uh, throughout the campaign process, uh, I, along with I'm certain others, were asked, would you come back and, and, and meet with uh, the groups uh, if you get elected? And I, I said yes to everybody. And I'm going to be uh, beginning that process here in the next couple of weeks. But I want to go ahead and just kind of give a heads up. Uh, I'll be sending it out through the Council office, kind of a tentative schedule. And I certainly would like to have every council member, or the district council members there, uh, because this is really just going to be an information gathering, um, kind of a process versus anything else. But I also want to be very respectful of any uh, district council member and, and where we happen to be meeting. So, uh, But I do want to go ahead and give a heads up, because I will be starting that in about the next three weeks. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate that. Council Member Van Reeks. Hi there. Um, I want to first acknowledge you guys see yellow roses at all of the council uh, women's uh, desks. Thank you, Tanya Hancock, for mm -hmm. supplying those as a uh, moment of acknowledgement of the 20 members of the Metro Council that are female for the first time in history. Um, right. Thank you for that, Tanya. Thank you so much. 
it looks it looks really great, and I think that they should be permanently installed. <laughs> um, uh, uh, a few announcements for District Eight. I want to make sure everybody remembers that tomorrow on the second. Uh, there will be a, a 218 Maplewood Trace Development Community Meeting over at Studio 615 on Broadmoor. Um, and uh, a new development that uh, is being proposed there at Maplewood Trace that will cut all the way through to Broadmoor. So I want to make sure and get your input on that. Uh, that's tomorrow night at Studio 615 at 6 p.m. Um, also um, uh, coming up October the 8th, the very first Maplewood Neighborhood Association meeting. It's 6 o'clock at the Inglewood Library meeting room. Um, that's uh, going to be an exciting time to be able to meet your neighbors and to hear a little bit more about a, a brand new neighborhood association. Um, the community meeting for the uh, rezoning request at 428 Williams Avenue will take place at 6 p.m. at the Madison Branch Library. That's uh, 428 Williams Avenue. Uh, Williams Avenue, for those of you in Madison, that's the road uh, at the KFC that you turn and cross over the railroad tracks, that's Williams Avenue. Um, we've got a, an interesting development going on uh, in that area that I need uh, feedback on. So please join us October the 9th at the Madison Library to talk about Williams Avenue. Uh, and then <clears throat> finally, before the next meeting anyway, because the October calendar is completely packed, um, on October the 12th, the Oakland Acres Neighborhood Traffic Calming a meeting with Public Works. Um, we're very uh, happy to hear that uh, the Oakland uh, Acres neighborhood traffic calming was one of the first, one of the eight projects in this round from Public Works for traffic calming. And uh, they're gonna be meeting with the neighbors uh, in that area from 3.45 to 4.30 p.m. at the Madison Library. All of these um, events are available um, to review and get more details on at the NVR for District 8.com website and on Facebook. And uh, it's going to be a busy couple of weeks, and I'm looking forward to seeing everybody. Thanks. Great. Thank you. Councilmember Withers. Thank you, Madam Pro Tem. Um, just wanted to alert folks who are traveling along Porter Road uh, in the Eastwood neighborhood around Porter and Greenwood. Um, the Porter Road restriping project is finally being installed. Um, we had worked with the Planning Department, Public Works, as well as the Eastwood Neighbors, Neighborhood Association and the businesses there on that corner to find some solutions to allow uh, two lanes of travel, uh, to have through routes for the bike lanes so that they're not interrupted, but also to accommodate some on-street parking. And we were able to take advantage of a little bit of extra pavement width in that section of Porter Road to do that. That plan was actually discussed through public meetings a little over a year ago. Um, and that striping is just now being installed. So just wanted folks to look out for that if you're driving along Porter Road and it looks a little bit confusing, please slow down. Uh, and it will all make sense very, very shortly. And I appreciate uh, Public Works and Planning for working with the business owners in particular to find a way to accommodate uh, all that multi -multi multimodal transportation as well as on-street parking. Look forward to having it done. Thank you. That is great. Council Member Parker. Uh, thank you, Council Member Allen. Um, first, I wanted to th point out and thank District 5's Holt Camp Greenhouses for bringing these lovely African violet flowers and placing them on each of our desks. I um, also wanted to let you all know about two important community meetings that we have coming up in District 5. Um, we're having ongoing conversations with the planning department around the River Chase Community Plan Amendment, and they will be attending the McFerrin Park Neighborhood Association at the Salvation Army this Thursday at six o'clock. Um, also, Cleveland Park was selected for um, Metro Public Works traffic calming program, and representatives from Public Works will be at the Cleveland Park Neighborhood Association meeting next Thursday, October 10th, and that's six o'clock at the Cleveland Park Community Center. Thank you. Thank you. Council Member Delisha Porterfield. Thank you so much, uh, Madam Pro Tem. I did want to make a few announcements regarding uh, District 29. A lot of constituents have been uh, reaching out with concerns about brush pickup. I was informed that we will be having some brush pickup by the end of this week. Um, and if you were not uh, taken care of by the end of this week, you should be taken care of early next week. I also wanted to invite people to come out to Councilwoman Styles' uh, community meeting on October the 8th, uh, Tuesday, October the 8th at 6 p.m. 
at the Southeast Community Center. As she stated, I really want to reiterate that uh, we are looking towards the future of Hickory Hollow Mall, and we really want um, input from all of our surrounding districts. So please make sure that uh, you're making plans to attend. On October the 26th, I'll be co-hosting a voter registration drive with one of our uh, community churches, Priest Lake Community Baptist, and that information will be on social media as well as in our newsletter. We will have our next community cleanup November the 9th at Compton's Foodland, um, the way that we've traditionally held it at, held it at Compton's. And then lastly, uh, I'm thankful to IT that I have a nice voicemail number. So if any of our constituents uh, need to reach out or any of my constituents in District 29 need to reach out, they can reach me at 615-432-1329. Thank you. Thank you. Councilmember O'Connell, back to you again. Thank you, Madam President. Got the details now. Um, the Nashville Coalition Against Domestic Violence uh, and some of their partners have for several years done uh, a Meet Us at the Bridge event as part of the recognition of October as Domestic Violence Awareness Month. So that is coming up this Saturday, October 5th from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. right in the middle of the John Siegenthaler Pedestrian Bridge. Um, if you attend the event, there is free parking available in Lot R south of Nissan Stadium. Uh, they do recommend that you allow 10 to 15 minutes to walk from the parking lot to the event location on the bridge. Uh, it's a great event. There are, every year they basically give awards uh, and it is, it, it's, it's a powerful reminder that we still have work to do uh, to try to end domestic violence in both Nashville and the state of Tennessee. So I do encourage folks if they are looking for an opportunity to recognize folks or uh, support great organizations involved in this work to get out to that event. Thank you. Oh, and one other quick thing, a good news item for uh, District 19 is that tomorrow is the grand opening of the Publix at Capitol View, uh, and so there will be a full grocery option available for urban residents, which is great. Progress. Council Member Hagar. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, got two things coming up in Old Hickory on October the 5th, this coming weekend. We have the Village Fair. That is at First Baptist Church on Hadley Boulevard. We have hay rides, we have a petting zoo, we have bands, we have all type of events going on that day. And that is from one to four in the afternoon. So if you're around, bring the kids, have a good time over there. It's, it's, a, great, um, it's a great event and it doesn't cost a dime to go there. Then on uh, October the 10th, at 6 p.m. at the Ruth Enzer Methodist Church on Bridgeway. I have a community meeting about a development on Swinger Bridge Road and Higgerson Road. Uh, I want to tell all my constituents in that area, if they're interested in this, please come by and uh, let's talk about it and make sure you have a voice in this development. Thank you very much. Thank you. Council Member Hancock. Thank you, Madam Pratim. I wanted to let you know some exciting news that we got today from the Parks and Recreation Board. Um, our, my predecessor, former council member Bill Pridemore, has been working on this for a long time, and we got approval to accept a donation of a um, monument-like sign from Jarvis Signs and Rodney Jarvis that's going to be in honor of Officer Mumau. It's going to be placed in the next month or so at Peeler Park, and then we'll set with the MNPD an actual official unveiling date likely um, coinciding with the anniversary of his unfortunate death, but we're really excited to be able to put that monument there and grateful to Jarvis Signs for donating that and also to former council member Bill Pridemore for doing so much work to get this through. So really happy about that. I also wanted to let everyone know that our next set of community meetings that we're doing in Madison are um, coming up Monday, October 14th from 6 to 7 p.m. at Yazoo Brewery. Thursday, October 17th from 8 to 10 a.m. at 10 Cup Coffee, and Saturday, October 19th from 8.30 to 10 a.m. at the Madison Community Center. There'll be an open forum where I'll give an update to constituents on what is happening in the district, as well as take questions and listen to any concerns from the residents. So I hope to see you there. Thanks. Thank you. And I'll take a point of personal privilege to make a couple of announcements. First, it is really fun to see the new council. We're so excited that uh, all these new folks are here and new beginnings are always great. So welcome welcome to the new guys. Um, second, uh, on a less happy note, uh, as a council, we wanna offer condolences to council member um, Angie Henderson, whose father passed away. So I'm sure Mayor Vice Mayor Shulman may have a more uh, extensive tribute to that as well. Um, 
two, two items I wanna bring up. Uh, tomorrow is walk to school day. There is a school in your neighborhood where everyone can walk to school. So go on the website and find out where those are tonight before you go to sleep, because um, they, they start early in the morning. But it's a great way to find out what the infrastructure around your neighborhood schools are and what improvements need to be made so that children can walk to school safely. So I recommend that experience to everyone. And also to uh, bring up that uh, the historic Commission has been working with a number of representatives from many of the historic districts in Nashville, and there are two meetings to talk about the historic guideline consolidation project. Um, you will need to go to the website to find out what those are because I didn't write them down, but they are coming up in the next two weeks. So for those council members who have um, historic districts in your neighborhood, um, make sure that you're aware of those and also for any viewers who, um, who have been interested in historic preservation in your neighborhood, that's probably something you wanna participate in. Are there any other council members who wish to make announcements? If not, I will end the period and let Mr. Nolan begin his analysis for us. I will close the announcements.